In an alternate universe, Sheev Palpatine is a loyal servant to the Republic, but is plagued with an alter ego with sinister intentions, Darth Sidious. Senator Palpatine of Naboo is a highly respected figure in the Galactic Republic, known for his dedication and commitment to the welfare of his people. As a skilled politician, he often finds himself at odds with the entrenched bureaucrats of the Republic, who he believes hinder progress with their lengthy procedures and self-interest. Palpatine advocates for streamlined governance and more direct action in solving the galaxy's problems, earning him a reputation as a reformer. His charismatic speeches and genuine concern for the Republic's future make him a popular figure among his peers and the citizens of Naboo alike. Meanwhile, lurking beneath Senator Palpatine's polished exterior is a nascent alter ego that has not yet fully manifested, Darth Sidious. This darker identity embodies Palpatine's suppressed ambitions and raw power in the Force. Sidious is a cunning strategist, patient and calculating, waiting for the perfect moment to emerge and assert his influence over the galaxy. While Palpatine navigates the political arena with diplomacy and charm, Sidious schemes in the shadows, preparing to unleash a grand plan that will forever alter the fate of the Republic and lead to the rise of the Sith. As Senator Palpatine continues his tireless campaign against the bureaucracy of the Republic, he begins to notice troubling gaps in his memories. Initially dismissed as mere fatigue from his demanding schedule, these lapses grow more frequent and alarming. For instance, Palpatine might spend hours preparing for a crucial Senate meeting, only to find himself unable to recall the details of the discussion the next day. He also experiences moments where he seems to lose time completely. One minute he's working in his office in the late evening, and the next, he's at home with no memory of the journey back or the intervening hours. These gaps cause concern for Palpatine, who prides himself on his control and meticulous nature. Strange reports also start to filter in through his closest aides, who mention seeing him in places he does not remember visiting or overhearing conversations in a voice that doesn't quite sound like his own. As these incidents accumulate, Palpatine grows increasingly disturbed, suspecting that the stress of his role might be affecting his health. However, the truth is far more sinister, as these gaps are the moments when Darth Sidious takes control, subtly manipulating events and people towards his own dark ends, all without Palpatine's conscious awareness. As Senator Palpatine grapples with his mysterious memory lapses, a new crisis emerges that will test his leadership and resolve. The Trade Federation, influenced by unseen forces, initiates a blockade of Naboo, cutting off all trade routes to the planet. This aggressive act is officially in response to trade disputes and taxation issues, but it rapidly escalates into a full-scale conflict. The blockade leads to severe shortages of essential supplies on Naboo, causing widespread panic and hardship among its citizens. Palpatine finds himself at the forefront of this crisis, working tirelessly to negotiate a peaceful resolution and rally support from other Republic sectors. Unbeknownst to him, his alter ego, Darth Sidious, is actually orchestrating this conflict from behind the scenes. Sidious is manipulating both the Trade Federation and the Republic, creating a situation that he can exploit to gain more power. As the conflict intensifies, Palpatine's moments of missing time become more frequent, with Sidious using these opportunities to push his own sinister agenda, further complicating the situation for the beleaguered senator. As the crisis on Naboo escalates, Senator Palpatine's stature within the Galactic Republic grows. His passionate advocacy for his planet and his calls for reform resonate deeply with many other senators, who are disillusioned with the current leadership's inability to effectively manage the situation. Amidst the turmoil, Palpatine, viewed by many as a beacon of hope and decisiveness, is nominated to run for the position of Chancellor of the Republic. With the conflict serving as a backdrop, Palpatine campaigns on a platform of strong leadership and swift action, promising to restore order and integrity to the Republic's governance. His message strikes a chord across the galaxy, leading to a landslide victory. Palpatine's ascent to Chancellor is met with widespread approval, as many believe his leadership will usher in a new era of peace and prosperity. As Chancellor Palpatine settles into his new role, he begins experiencing what he initially believes are vivid dreams. These dreams are intense and unsettling, filled with visions of power and conquest, strategies for manipulation, and the dark allure of the Sith ways. He sees himself wielding a dark energy that bends others to his will, reshaping the galaxy under a single, unopposed rule. These nocturnal experiences are so lifelike that Palpatine often wakes feeling as if he has not slept at all, increasingly disturbed, 
Palpatine begins to suspect that these are not mere dreams, but glimpses into actions and decisions he is making, actions that he cannot remember when he awakes. These episodes show him engaging in secretive meetings, plotting against political adversaries, and manipulating events to create unrest that only he can resolve. Each dream leaves him with a residue of emotional conflict and a growing sense of dread. The reality, unbeknownst to Palpatine, is that these are not dreams at all, but the suppressed memories of Darth Sidious activities. As Chancellor Palpatine's power within the Galactic Republic grows, so too does his relationship with Anakin Skywalker, the young Jedi Knight prophesied to bring balance to the Force. Palpatine sees Anakin not only as a pivotal figure in the galaxy's future, but also as someone he genuinely cares about. He takes on a mentor-like role in Anakin's life, offering guidance and support. Palpatine listens to Anakin's concerns about the Jedi Council, and provides counsel on matters both personal and political. This bond is built on what appears to be genuine affection and understanding from Palpatine, who often feels more like a father figure to Anakin than a political leader. In stark contrast, Darth Sidious views Anakin through a much darker lens. To Sidious, Anakin is primarily a means to an end, a potential apprentice who could be pivotal in fulfilling the Sith agenda. Sidious recognizes Anakin's extraordinary potential in the Force, as well as his inner turmoil and fears, which make him susceptible to manipulation. Sidious interactions, though hidden beneath Palpatine's fatherly facade, are calculated to sow doubt about the Jedi Order amplify Anakin's frustrations, and lure him towards the dark side. Each piece of advice or support Sidious gives, while outwardly echoing Palpatine's genuine concern, is laced with the intent to destabilize Anakin's loyalty to the Jedi and prepare him for his eventual turn to become Darth Vader. As the Clone Wars engulf the galaxy, Chancellor Palpatine is at the helm of the Republic's efforts to quash the Separatist uprising. His leadership is characterized by decisive actions and strategic decisions aimed at securing a Republic victory. Palpatine's days are consumed with war strategy meetings, negotiations with key planetary systems, and rallying the morale of the Galactic Senate and the populace. Publicly, he projects confidence and determination, constantly reassuring the citizens of the Republic of eventual victory. Despite Palpatine's tireless efforts, he is plagued by an unnerving issue. The Separatists seem to anticipate the Republic's moves with alarming accuracy, time and again. Key military strategies are countered effectively by the Separatist forces, leading to costly stalemates or even defeats. Palpatine is bewildered and frustrated by these setbacks, unable to determine the source of the leaks or predict the enemy's uncanny foresight. One evening, after a particularly draining day filled with strategic war councils and Senate meetings, Chancellor Palpatine returned to his private apartment only to find a mysterious object sitting conspicuously on his desk. It was a Sith holocron, an ancient and arcane artifact known to contain vast amounts of dark side knowledge. Cautiously intrigued, Palpatine approached the artifact. As he drew near, the holocron activated, unfolding and glowing with an eerie light. The holocron projected a series of images and voices that rooted Palpatine to the spot in shock. The holographic display revealed scenes of himself, not as the Chancellor, but as Darth Sidious, orchestrating the war, manipulating both the Republic and the Separatists. For the first time, Palpatine was confronted with the full extent of his split existence. The realization that he was both the Republic's savior and its ultimate betrayer was overwhelming. The holocron laid bare the dual life he had been leading, much of which he hadn't been conscious of. The implications were staggering. Not only was he the architect of the Republic's potential salvation, but also of its deepest conspiracies and betrayals. As the image Images from the Sith holocron continued to swirl around him, revealing the depth of his duplicity, Chancellor Palpatine staggered towards a mirror in his room, desperate to see his own face, to find some semblance of truth in his reflection. But what stared back at him was not the familiar composed face of the Republic's leader. Instead, his reflection showed Darth Sidious, with sinister glowing yellow eyes and a malevolent smile that twisted his features into a visage of pure evil. The sight was chilling, and as Palpatine gazed into the mirror, the reflection of Sidious seemed to mock him, its smile widening as if delighted by Palpatine's horror. This moment served as a stark revelation. The dark side had not only infiltrated his actions, but had begun to transform him at the very core of his being. Palpatine was confronted with the undeniable truth that he and Sidious were no longer separate personas, they were merging, with Sidious threatening to overtake the good that might have once existed within Palpatine. The smiling reflection was a grim reminder of the power and allure of the dark side, and the ease with which it could consume one's identity. 
As the war progressed, the line between Chancellor Palpatine and Darth Sidious blurred even further, with Sidious's periods of control extending dramatically. What initially were mere hours of lost time for Palpatine grew into days, weeks, and eventually months. Each time Palpatine regained consciousness, he found himself in situations far removed from where he last remembered being, often with decisions made and actions taken in his name that horrified him. As Chancellor Palpatine grew increasingly desperate to break free from Darth Sidious's sinister grip, he attempted to reveal the truth to those around him. Each time he tried to expose Sidious as the dark force controlling his actions, Sidious would preemptively regain control. This internal battle was swift and decisive, with Sidious always managing to suppress Palpatine just as he was about to disclose the crucial information. These moments were marked by sudden sharp transitions, where Palpatine's clarity and resolve were abruptly replaced by Sidious's malevolent dominance. Advisors, friends, and even Jedi who might have been privy to Palpatine's revelations instead witnessed what appeared to be sudden shifts in his demeanor, from earnest desperation to chilling composure. This pattern left those around him confused and unable to grasp the depth of Palpatine's struggle, ultimately isolating him further. Sidious's seamless interception of control not only prevented Palpatine from revealing his dual nature, but also tightened the Sith Lord's hold, making each recovery by Palpatine rarer and more fleeting. He found himself more of an observer in his own life, powerless to intervene in the actions of Darth Sidious. A particularly poignant moment occurred during the infamous opera scene, where Sidious, in control, spoke to Anakin about the dark side's ability to prevent death. Palpatine, trapped within his own mind, could do nothing but watch helplessly as Sidious subtly manipulated Anakin's deepest fears and desires. During this scene, Palpatine was acutely aware of Anakin's vulnerability and desperation. He knew Anakin was tormented by the fear of losing Padme, just as he had once lost his mother. Witnessing this, Palpatine felt a profound sadness and a desperate urge to break through Sidious's control to offer genuine guidance and perhaps a warning. He struggled internally, trying to push through the barriers that Sidious had fortified over time. The heartbreak for Palpatine was intense, as he could see the path that Anakin was being led down, a path that would ultimately lead to suffering and destruction. Palpatine's inability to communicate with Anakin, to warn him of the deception and manipulation he was under, was a source of deep sorrow. Each of Sidious's words, skillfully crafted to lure Anakin closer to the dark side, was like a dagger to Palpatine's heart. Knowing he was both the instrument of Anakin's doom and, paradoxically, an impotent spectator to the unfolding tragedy. As Darth Sidious's dominance over Chancellor Palpatine became complete, Palpatine found himself utterly trapped within his own mind, a silent witness to the chaos and destruction wrought by his alter ego. His despair lingered until a glimmer of hope emerged when Mace Windu and several other Jedi Masters arrived at his office to arrest Sidious. For a brief moment, Palpatine rejoiced silently believing that finally, justice would be served and Sidious would face the consequences of his heinous acts. This hope surged within him, a quiet cheer for the Jedi as they confronted the Dark Lord who had taken over his life. However, the hope was short-lived. As the confrontation escalated, Palpatine could only watch in horror as Sidious, with all the power of the dark side at his command, fought back fiercely. One by one, Sidious dispatched the Jedi Masters, his prowess in the dark side of the Force fully unleashed. Each Jedi that fell deepened Palpatine's despair, as he realized not only the failure of their mission, but the extent of Sidious's power and cunning. As Mace Windu pinned Sidious, the pivotal moment arrived with Anakin's entrance. Palpatine, trapped within his own mind, saw the clear manipulation of Anakin by Sidious and knew this was likely his final chance to act. In a desperate bid for redemption and to save the galaxy from further ruin, Palpatine inwardly summoned every ounce of his remaining strength and connected with the Force deeply, meditating with intense focus. This meditation was his last hope, a silent plea for the Force to grant him control over his body one last time. As the confrontation reached its climax and Anakin raised his lightsaber to strike at Mace Windu, Palpatine found the briefest window to exert control. In a swift, self-sacrificial move, he maneuvered his body between Sidious and the Jedi. The lightsaber, intended for Mace, struck Palpatine instead. As the blade made contact, a surge of energy coursed through Palpatine, expelling the dark essence of Sidious in a burst of demonic noise and dark energy, signifying the departure of the Sith Lord from his body. Collapsing to the floor, grievously wounded, Palpatine was caught by Anakin. In these final moments, 
the true Palpatine spoke, his voice clear of Sidious's influence for the first time in years. He looked up at Anakin with genuine affection and pride, a stark contrast to the manipulation that had characterized his interactions as Sidious. I am proud of the Jedi you have become, Anakin, he said weakly. By striking me down, you have saved the galaxy and secured a future for yourself and Padme. These last words were those of a man who had fought a long internal battle against the darkest parts of himself. Palpatine's final act was one of redemption, sacrificing himself to protect the galaxy from the tyranny that he, as Sidious, had helped orchestrate. Held in Anakin's arms, Palpatine passed away, leaving behind a legacy complicated by darkness and light, his final moments redeemed by a profound act of courage and selflessness.